Now we are going to read a newspaper article about Rosa Parks, mother of the American Civil Rights Movement. Choose a sentence from the list A to H for each part 1 to 7 of the article. There is an example of the beginning, 01. Let's begin our reading with the headings. A. A group of black activist women. B. Rosa Parks was honored for her civil rights activism. C. Rosa Parks refused to leave her seat. D. The act of peaceful disobedience. E. Rosa Parks was tired of accepting unequal treatment. F. The Montgomery bus boycott. G. Rosa Parks' bravery serves as an example of the power of small acts. H. Rosa Parks founded the Institute for Self-Development. Dear students, it's time to find out what does each paragraph tell us about Rosa Parks. On December 1, 1955, in the southern city of Montgomery, Alabama, a 42-year-old black woman got on a city bus. The law at that time required black people seated in one area of the bus to give up their seats to white people who wanted them. The woman refused to do this and was arrested. This act of peaceful disobedience started protests in Montgomery that led to legal changes in minority rights in the United States. The woman who started it was Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks and three other black people were seated in the middle area of the bus when a white person got on the bus and wanted a seat. The bus driver demanded that all four black people leave their seats so the white person would not have to sit next to any of them. The three other blacks got up, but Mrs. Parks refused. She was arrested. Some popular stories about that incident include the statement that Rosa Parks refused to leave her seat because her feet were tired, but she herself said in later years that this was false. What she was really tired of, she said, was accepting unequal treatment. She explained later that this seemed to be the place for her to stop being pushed around and to find out what human rights she had, if any. A group of black activist women in Montgomery was known as the Women's Political Council. The group was working to oppose the mistreatment of black bus passengers. The women's group immediately called for all blacks in the city to refuse to ride on city buses on the day of Mrs. Park's trail. Monday, December 5th. The result was that 40,000 people walked and used other transportation on that day. That night, at meetings throughout the city, blacks in Montgomery agreed to continue to boycott the city buses until their mistreatment stopped. They also demanded that the city hire black bus drivers and that anyone be permitted to sit in the middle of the bus and not have to get up for everyone else. The Montgomery bus boycott continued for 381 days. It was led by local black leader E.D. Nixon and a young black minister, Martin Luther King Jr. Through the years, Rosa Parks continued to work for the NAACP National Association for the Advancement of Colored People and appeared at civil rights events. 
She was a quiet woman and often seemed uneasy with her fame. But she said that she wanted to help people, especially young people, to make useful lives for themselves and to help others. In 1987, she founded the Rosa and Raymond Parks Institute for Self-Development to Improve the Lives of Black Children. Rosa Parks received two of the nation's highest honors for her civil rights activism. In 1996, President Clinton honored her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom and in 1999, she received the Congressional Gold Medal of Honor. Rosa Parks died on October 24, 2005. She was 92 years old. Her body lay in honor in the United States Capitol building in Washington. She was the first American woman to be so honored. 30,000 people walked silently past her body to show their respect. The religious official of the United States Senate spoke about her at a memorial service in Washington. He said, Rosa Parks' bravery serves as an example of the power of small acts, and the Reverend Jesse Jackson committed in a statement about what her small act of bravery meant for African-American people. He said that on that bus in 1955, she sat down in order that we might stand up and she opened the doors on the long journey to freedom. During this activity, we will try to arrange the headings in chronological order. As it was previously stated, the statement D is suitable for the zero extract from the given example. The act of peaceful disobedience. Rosa Parks refused to leave her seat. C goes to the first extract. Rosa Parks was tired of accepting unequal treatment. E goes to the extract number two. group of black activist women, A is suitable for number 3. The Montgomery bus boycott, F, goes to the fourth extra. Rosa Parks founded the Institute for Self-Development, H is suitable for number 5. Rosa Parks was honored for her civil rights activism. B is acceptable for number 6. Rosa Parks' bravery serves as an example of the power of small acts. And G goes to the extract number 7. Let's check the answers. Very well. We do not have any mistake here. Dear students, are you ready to answer a few questions according to the text? The first question for you is What did Rosa Parks hope to gain through her act of peaceful disobedience? And an appropriate answer to this question is She explained later that this seemed to be the place for her to stop being pushed around and to find out what human rights she had, if any. The second question is, how did Rosa Parks become the mother of the American civil rights movement? Let's open the answer. The woman refused to give up her seat on the bus to white people, so she was arrested this act of peaceful disobedience started protests in Montgomery that led to legal changes in minority rights in the United States.
And the last question for you is Why did Rosa Parks found the Rosa and Raymond Parks Institute for Self-Development? Let's find out the answer. She said that she wanted to help people, especially young people, to make useful lives for themselves and to help others. In 1987, she founded the Rosa and Raymond Parks Institute for Self-Development to improve the lives of black children. Dear students, it is time to evaluate our ability focus. Please, during this task, apply your gained knowledge in order to determine the meaning of the following highlighted words. Activist to oppose mistreatment. Now, it's time for you to choose the most suitable answer A, B, C or D. Choose the most suitable word for activists. The noun activist refers to A. Non-professional B. Demonstrator C. Non-militant D. Censor The correct answer is B. Demonstrator Choose the most suitable word for to oppose. The verb to oppose refers to A. To support B. To promote C. To confront D. To defend The correct answer is C. To confront Choose the most suitable word for mistreatment. The noun mistreatment refers to A. Protection B. Guardianship C. Concern D. Persecution The correct answer is D. Persecution Which of the following words best describe Rosa Parks? Give reasons. In this task, we will use the random word chooser. Let's begin! Rosa Parks is an indifferent woman. No, she is not. We do not have evidence of it. Rosa Parks is a selfish woman. No, she is not. We do not have evidence of it. Rosa Parks is a stubborn woman. The following extract reveals this characteristic. Rosa Parks and three other black people were seated in the middle area of the bus when a white person got on the bus and wanted a seat. The bus driver demanded that all four black people leave their seats so the white person would not have to sit next to any of them. The three other blacks got up, but Mrs. Parks refused. She was arrested. Rosa Parks is a convinced woman. The following extract reveals this feature. What she was really tired of, she said, was accepting unequal treatment. She explained later that this seemed to be the place for her to stop being pushed around and to find out what human rights she had, if any. Rosa Parks is a helpful woman. Here we have an evidence of it. She was a quiet woman and often seemed uneasy with her fame, but she said that she wanted to help people, especially young people, to make useful lives for themselves and to help others. All things considering, are you ready, dear students, to use your exit ticket from this English lesson? Roll the dice in order to find out what have you learned during this lesson. One spot. I want to remember. Two spots. Write one thing you learned today. Three spots. One word to sum up what you learned. 
Four spots. Celebrate something you already knew. Five spots. I'm still fuzzy about. I want to know. Six spots. I get it and can explain it to someone else. What have we done during our lesson? We have analyzed the relationship between cultural and universal human rights. We have explained the six fundamental values important for equal human rights to the given case studies. We have investigated the life of Rosa Parks and her life-changing impact on the civil rights movement. We have selected relevant synonyms and words that are suitable for ability-focused activity. We have shared ideas based on your experience, knowledge and imagination. In a nutshell, this is an important fact. All human rights are yours. In reality, you don't even have to choose your human rights. Human rights belong to everyone from when they are born. Although they can sometimes be restricted, human rights can never be taken away from you. Dear students, it is time to say goodbye. And don't forget, stay healthy and be happy.